Hi, I'm Bala, Happiness Chief of Report B. To explain you shortly what we do, we make schools, students' performance data easily accessible to teachers, management and principal. So I'm here to explain you how our product works, how you can use it to save your time and make schools work efficiently. Every school gets a unique URL. Assume your school name is Demo. It's demo.reportb.com. Every user from your school, teacher, principal and management will get a username and password to log into the system and see students' performance. So assuming one of your teacher gets a username teacher at demo.com and a unique password, so just log in with the credentials. You'll see the landing page of the product where you can access different classes and see the performance. Assuming you want to check the performance of class 10, click on class 10. The page you see is the landing page of class 10 where you can see all the list of students who studies in class 10. So you can see that students are ranked from top to the bottom. You can also see the rank column where the rank of a particular student including all the exams is mentioned. The second column is the name where the name of the student is mentioned along with his roll number. The third column is the mark attained by the student. And fourth column is the percentage scored by the student. And the fifth column is the DNA. I'll come to the explaining what DNA is. We'll see one particular student in this list of students. Say Vijay, who has scored third rank. You can see how much mark he has scored, how much percentage he has scored. Also, if you want to know the last performing students, you need not go down the list. You can sort it based on the name or percentage. Just click on the percentage header the list reverses from the bottom student to the top performer, so you can find the last performing students at an instant. At a time, you might want to find the performance of an individual student, so you need not search through the complete column. We've provided a search field where you can enter your search term and find the student instantly. For example, type AB, you'll find all the students starting with the letter AB and also the students who have AB in their names. You can find a lot of filters along with the class mentioned at the top. We have sections, we have groups, we have filters for exam, we have filters for subject. So the list displayed in the screen is for the whole class. So if you want to filter by section saying 10A, click on A and the list of students studying in that particular section will be shown. So you can sort that particular list to know the performance as well. So also, if you want to know about a particular group, say your school has computer science and biology group, you want to know, analyze the biology group alone. You can click on the biology group on the group filter and know the performance of the students studying in biology group. We have exam drop down and the subject drop down on top of the table. So you can use those drop downs to filter the content based on what you want to analyze. For example, if you want to know the performance of the student in FA1 exam, you can click on the exam drop down and choose FA1. So the list of students displayed here are the, are the ones who attended FA1 and the marks are for FA1. So if you want to analyze for a particular subject, say mathematics, just click on the subject drop down and choose mathematics. So you will know which student has scored, top mark in mathematics, how much he has scored, and how much percentage he has attained. We call the last column of the table academic DNA because it looked like an academy DNA strand it's where you can see all the data points starting from the right hand side and bottom of the table it moves towards the left hand side and the middle it has a spread across the width so what this signifies means we have marked all the subjects with a symbol for example English being EN math being MA along the bar so if a particular student has scored the highest mark in the exam he will be marked and the right hand side. For example, in English, a particular student has scored the highest mark. EN will be marked at the right hand side. If a particular student has scored the lowest mark, he'll be marked on the left hand side. So you can see there's a lot of symbols crumbled up at one area. That's none of our concern because what we are looking at in this academic strand is the outliers. With this academic strand, you can find in which subject a particular student is not doing good relatively. You can see out of the top three students, some of the students have scored low in some of the exams, but most 
of the subjects have been scored in the highest. Similarly, for a bottom performer, you can find in which subject is doing good relatively. If you want to know the performance progress of an individual student, click on the student name from the table. It will be taken to a different page where the progress of the student is shown in a line graph. So on the x-axis you have exams, on the y-axis you have the percentage scored by the student and plotted based on the subjects. So you can see on the right hand side there are different subjects marked with different colors and the graph indicates how much he has improved over a period of time. And you can see along with the subject names there is a small arrow marked up means he has improved, marked down means he has gone down in that particular subject and how much percentage has been mentioned along the arrow. If you want to track the progress of an individual section, say 10A, click on A and click on the progress button on the left hand side. You will be taken to a different page where will be shown the progress of 10A. The two factors which you are tracking here is mean and median. In the graph, the x-axis is the exams and y-axis is the percentage of mean and median scored by the class. On the right hand side, you can see all the subject listed down. You can view the particular subject, how a particular subject has performed, whether it has increased or decreased in its performance from the initial exam. Suppose a class has two sections, 10 A and B. You want to compare how A section and B section are performing in different subjects. For that, you have a section comparison link on your left hand side. Click on it. It will be taken to a page where again a line graph is shown with different sections are plotted in the graph. Again, you have on the x-axis exams and on the y-axis the performance of the particular section. On your right hand side, you can see different sections marked in different color. The graph you see is section comparison of a particular subject. If you want to compare a different subject, say mathematics, choose mathematics from the drop down on the top of the graph. After choosing mathematics, you will see the graph changes for mathematics. So if you want to know the individual value of a particular exam, just roll over on the dot. You will be shown the values scored by the particular class in that exam.